welcome back to day two today is all about the basics of nutrition <laughs> i know the world of food can be complicated but we are going to simplify it nutrition is just a key part of our health journey and today we'll explore some some key simple guidelines to make better food choices are you ready let's get started today is ship of experience day two and the title is the basics of nutrition what you put into your mouth on a daily basis not just what you eat what you drink as well hello i am ngo i am your guide for this ship of experience have you started taking your baby steps yet if not what are you waiting for the basics of nutrition i'm so excited you're here because today is crucial we are unpacking the basics of nutrition, food. Now you might be thinking, nutrition? Isn't that just eating salads day? No, not at all. Calories, first let's demystify calories. Calories are not your enemy. They are units of energy. Your body needs these calories to function, but it's about choosing the right kind of calories. There are empty calories like those in sugary drinks, fizzy drinks, energy drinks, and fast food. And then there are calories packed with nutrients like in your fruits, your vegetables, and in your meats. You can see the different kinds of calories. So choose wisely. Second, let's talk macronutrients. They are the proteins, the fats, and the carbohydrates. Proteins are essential for repairing tissues, your skin, and maintaining muscle mass. Good sources of protein include fish, lean meats, and plant-based options like lentils and chickpeas. In case you are vegetarian or vegan, your protein can still come from food, beans, Peas, chickpeas, tofu, all these are protein sources for people that do not eat meat. Fats are not the villain and they've been made that they've been made out to be. Healthy fats from sources like avocados, nuts, and olive oil are vital for brain function and hormone production and even regulation. Carbohydrates fuel your body, especially if you're active. Choose complex carbs like whole grains, fruits and vegetables over simple carbs like white bread and angry snacks. Thirdly, don't forget your micronutrients. These are your vitamins and your minerals, which you can get from a varied, colorful diet. Think rainbow when you lift your plates. Think of your plate as a rainbow. The more colors, the rich the nutrients and the more benefits you derive. Having discussed nutrition, you know how important it is to watch what you eat, not with a mirror. To watch the calories, to watch the colors, to watch the nutrients you derive from this food. If not, there may be empty calories. Let's jump into day two's activities. One, hydration station. Remember I told you, nutrition is not just about food that you put in your mouth. Even the liquids, the foods, the solid substances, and the liquids, they make up your nutrition. They come together to form what you put in and what you fuel your body with as nutrition. Hydration station. As discussed, aim for at least 
eight cups of water today. Make it fun. Use a marked water bottle or set reminders on your phone. Replace at least one sugary drink today with the water. At least one. How many times do you take in sugary products? Swap one with the water. And then let us know about it. Let us know the swap. Activity number two, make a list of five nutritious foods you enjoy. <laughs> Macronutrients mix. Prepare a meal that includes a protein, a healthy fat, and a complex carb. Take note of how this balanced meal makes you feel in comparison to unbalanced meals. If you want to take a picture and post in the group, that's fine. But if, if you cannot, explain how you feel when you eat whole foods compared to how you feel when you eat the rest. Activity number three, track your calories. Don't aim for a cut. Don't aim to reduce your calories. Just observe. Check what you eat. Be conscious. Really, really be here when you pick up a plate of food. Write down everything you eat today and every day and look up the calorie content. You might be surprised that just a cup of something liquid may have the total number of calories your body really needs in a whole day. That's why we are careful what we drink because it adds up. When you take in soda, fizzy drinks, Coca-Cola, when you take in ice cream, when you take in yogurts, make sure you check the calorie content of these drinks and balance out the calorie in case you count calories. I don't count calories. If you don't want the stress of calorie counting, write it down in the chat and I'll tell you a better way to eyeball your food so that you don't go into technicalities. Knowing that there is no accurate calculation of calories except in a science laboratory. That should tell you that whatever you see out there are just estimates. You can live on estimates. If you want to be very sure, then you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, type it in the comments and I'll get you some info. You might find some surprises. That's true. Activity number four, share your discoveries. Post a picture of your balanced meal if you want to. Or any surprising food facts you learned today in the community group. Engage with others and learn from their posts. Our focus today is in making mindful choices that fuel our bodies and nourish our souls. Are you ready? Let's get to it. If you want to fuel your body adequately, the first thing you do is check how active you are. What is a typical day for you like? Are you always sitting behind the laptop? Then the number of calories or food in general that you need will be less. And if you are someone that is very active, then you will need more. That is love tongue. Sorry, I had a call coming in and it distracted me. Yeah, this is our resource page. Have you grabbed your workbook yet? If not, let me give you a sneak peek of what you have in the workbook. It has the four steps, what to expect, and this lovely... The result you get from this experience is directly proportional to your level of commitment. The results you get from this experience, if you are committed and you do the activities, 
you will get the results because one plus one will always give you two. And today is day two of the experience. In the workbook, there are meal plan options, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. You wouldn't want to miss this. There are places for meal planning where you get to write the foods available in your area and what you are planning to use to block the spaces. So that one, you don't go hungry. Two, you're feeding your body well. You're fueling your activities well. Then your snacks have a portion in the workbook. Your exercise checklists. Self-assessment and your next steps. This is your workbook and it is going to help you put down all you are working with. Whatever it is you need, you write it down. Whatever, what do you call it? Aha moments you get, share in the group, write in your workbook. It is a guide that would help you achieve the goal that all of us are focused on. Today, I'm feeling better because I have gotten back into the rhythm of trying to shape up. And by God's grace, in the next few days, by the time I take and check my weight again, there will be a difference. I hope you're taking this as seriously as I am because without your health, you really have nothing. We have an adage in my place that a healthy person wears a crown that only a sick person sees. I want us to be those people with the crown, not the people lying down bedridden into our elderly years. I want us healthy. I want all the vital organs to work in. And it starts with the first step, managing your body weight. When you manage your body weight, automatically your blood sugar levels will be managed and so many other things will fall into place. That is how seriously I take this because I know. <laughs> Thank you very much for being part of this experience. Thank you for trying to shape up. Thank you for treating this, your body, with kindness, with love, with affection, because it deserves it. It deserves more than that. It keeps you going. And what other way are you going to show appreciation then to treat it well. See you in day three. And please remember to do the activities. Doing the activities isn't for me. It is for you. It teaches you discipline. It shows you when you carry the activities out, you learn things you wouldn't have learned by just reading it on the screen. I hope this makes sense. All the best. See you tomorrow. God bless.